Hey guys, Luckfuck here and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different from the player reviews and I'm going to be doing a live video. I don't really do them that often but I thought I'd kind of give you guys a bit of an update as to what is kind of going on with my team in FIFA at the moment and also kind of just saying thank you to you guys in general for all the support on YouTube recently. At the moment on the channel, we're averaging about 2,000 views a day which is absolutely fantastic. We're nearing 5,500 subscribers it's just such an awesome time for me at the moment at you on YouTube and I really want to keep growing and uh, hopefully you guys will continue to support me and I'm hoping to continue to provide you guys with awesome content and I want to try and do quite a few videos this week because I do have a week off. I have got a Michael Owen review coming out. Hopefully maybe it might be a double upload today and I also have a Deco review going to be coming out this week at some point as well. I wanted to review Burkamp, but things changed last night in terms of um, Team of the Year being released and stuff like that so... I have changed a few things in how I'm going to kind of go about doing a few player reviews over the course of the next few weeks. But anyway, so in terms of the Ultimate Scream SBC, the pack animation for that will be at the end of the video. I did do a live recording for it. The reason why I'm not going to upload my live reaction to it, because it wasn't exciting enough, it wasn't energetic, and I'm not going to upload a video like that. I'm not the most exciting person ever, but it was pretty bad, to be quite honest. So I'm not going to upload it. I'm just going to kind of show you guys... Um, the player that I got in a second and then I'm going to show the pack animation at the end of the video if you guys want to see him walking out like a zombie which was uh, pretty funny to be quite honest but also a little bit weird at the same time but anyway this is my current team um, it looks gorgeous to be quite honest um, so we have gone with the Calcio A I, I, I'm a big fan of the Calcio A this season it looks to be a very very good league uh, a lot better than previous years when it's been actually quite a bad league uh, still going with the Premier League though on, a, on the side here Renato Sanchez loved the card once again Henry Mkhitaryan I'm giving him a go as well as Zaba Costa uh, using Deco as well Del Piero still up front love this card then we got uh, Kadira who I wish I packed but I had to go out and buy him this was the card that I did pack Daniel Sturridge to be honest it could have been worse I mean it could have been piece of crouch I suppose so or like um Forster or whatever so I think I got quite lucky in the end to be honest I mean I would have liked to have got Justin Clivert or I think I I'm sure um somebody got what's his name uh Benzema I actually saw on Twitter as well last night which wouldn't have which would have been a pretty good player to get but Daniel Sturridge I'm not going to moan with that it's a decent card and certainly when he gets his boost he's going to be a pretty awesome super sub to use I also have got this Troyori card because I think he's going to get an inform tomorrow i bought him actually last week and since then he's gone to score against everton and also score on the weekend away in a 4-0 win Depay did score a hat-trick but he's not going to get an inform because he's already got a current halloween card so potentially this Troyori card could get an inform and he's actually pretty decent in irl uh, i've seen a lot of montage videos of him when he was at ajax and he looks pretty awesome the only problem is left foot and one star weak foot four star skill though is awesome and he's got some very nice stats actually the 86 ball control 85 dribbling 86 agility is very nice indeed but anyway getting off into the main part in this video and that is an ultimate investment that you guys can make where you guys can make hundreds of thousands of coins on this card now it is on one to watch Benucci. yesterday the team of the year was revealed EA have confirmed it will not be in October but which is a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, extremely understandable and makes sense because after Footmas ends at Christmas, there's nothing between Christmas and until the upgrade cards in like the middle of February. So Team of the Year is always nice to fit into January. So I'm kind of happy to wait till January. It will not take that long for it to arrive anyway. So it's always something nice to have after Christmas. Uh, and I'm certainly going to look forward to it. But anyway, I went out and bought this Benucci because he was released in the Team of the Year last night. Um... Some player, I'm not going to talk about Iniesta being in it to be quite honest, or Cruz, because personally, Iniesta or Cruz just aren't good enough for me. I know they're obviously kind of um, good players in the past, but for me, they shouldn't be in it at this current stage. A lot of people think Cruz is still good enough for me. I don't. I'm still happy that Modric is in there, though, because he's obviously an awesome player, but uh, it's just annoying seeing like, the same midfield year after year after year. But anyway, it was nice to see Panucci get released. And the first thing I did was go and buy this card. He's decreased by about 7,000 coins since then, and I don't understand why. No investor, no trader ever has mentioned anything about this, which I genuinely can't believe. Now, 100,000 coins. I'll just quickly go back and have a look at this player. You're getting a decent card. Uh, 68 pace, 71 dribbling, 70 passing, 87 dribbling, and 81 physical. That's some decent stats on this card. And if I go and show you... 
his current card on the market. He's currently going for about 40,000 coins on the market, to be quite honest, which is a pretty expensive value. Now, that is going to obviously decrease between now and January, and so will the one to watch. But this one to watch at minimum come January will still be worth about 50,000 coins. So at most, I'm going to lose about 60k on this card, which might sound a lot right now, but I'm going to make those coins back through, um, through doing SBCs, through doing packs, through doing um, squad battles as well. So I'm going to make those coins back. It's a safe investment to do because even though you could lose 50 or 60k you could potentially make what 500 600k profit because if he does get a team of the air he will well he will get a team of the air but EA have said in foot live that for this year if I want to watch if that one to watch player gets an inform, if it gets a hero card or whatever, a man of the match, it will get upgraded. Now, in all fairness, I was doing research last night. It has not been confirmed and it has not been denied by EA that if a one to watch gets a team of the year, it will be upgraded. It hasn't confirmed or denied that. Now, if it's the case where it does get upgraded, he will get that 6 plus boost, which usually happens for Team of the Year. So you're looking at a 94 Benucci and the stats would be ridiculous. You're probably looking at about 80 pace. 97 defending, 94 physical, something like that. You're pretty much looking at a Maldini icon card. He would be worth, probably when he gets released, about a million coins, and he'll probably decrease to, what, maybe 700, 800k. I'm not an expert. I'm just literally giving guesses right now. But you have the ability to literally quadruple and even more than that make coins on this card or you could lose 60k but think about it if you're paying uh, in foot champs and if you're finishing in gold uh think gold free offers like thirty thousand coins every week you're gonna make those coins back even if you're not playing foot champs you're gonna make the coins back at some point it is worth doing in my point of view and uh, in between now and then he might even get an info he might get a group stage card obviously ac milan are in europe this season but i don't think they're doing too well at the moment i think they're doing okay but not amazing um so there's always that potential that you could make so many coins of this card and i'd say if you're sitting there with about 500k at the moment go and buy him genuinely go and buy him um because no investor, no nobody at EA has said he will or like once watches will or will not be given team of the year upgrade cards. Surely, if you're going to give it to a man of the match, if you're going to give it to an inform, if you're going to give it to a group stage card, why would you not give it to a team of the year? Why would you not? So for me, it makes sense to go and buy them. If you guys don't want to go and buy them, um, then that's your choice. But personally, I would recommend that you guys go and buy this card as an awesome investment. But if he does not get the team of the year upgrade, please, guys, do not hunt me down for that because uh, it is obviously just guesses which I'm giving and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to finish off this video for you guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.